Welcome to my channel today. We are going to discuss how to start laundry business with small capital. Laundry business is one of the businesses I love. And I've guided a lot of people to start this business on a string budget. Yes. And the idea or the experiences we've gathered over the year is what we are to share here today. So if this is your first time of landing on my channel kindly subscribe share click the notification button as i proceed <clears throat> with the study or how to start this business professionally i'll guide you to turn your dream into reality starting this business on a very string uh, budget First and foremost, why will you be thinking of going into this business? There is very big demand for it. It is an option for you to become your boss of your own or for you to make cool money as an entrepreneur. So as long as there is demand, then there is need for you to go into it since you have passion or yes since you have passion for the business the first stage of this business is planning now when i'm talking of planning i'm not talking of you going to get a business plan not at all this time around all you need is business model outlining your target market understand your target market kind of laundry services you want to offer the pricing strategy, then the marketing planning or the marketing plan. Research on your local competitors, their pricing, and any gap you can fill. Yes, this is the stage you are now. Not thinking of going for expensive business plan. No, after we don't have the money. So what do we do? We research the existing markets and know where there is gap. Check the pricing model around us. Then you make something that will be unique, unique selling points. Then you target your market. Laundry is a very vast part of it. So you have to niche down. You have to niche down. So are you talking of just washing and folding clothes, stain removing? There are a lot of niches under laundry. So you look at what do you want to go into. Now, let me advise you. In the course of great creating marketing plan, invoice and other things, they are expensive. But we have online tools, free, that can help you. You can go to canva.com and make a research or go to YouTube and search how to create invoice using Canva. Marketing strategy using Canva and a lot of things. You will get it done freely, freely on, online. Now, after you've modeled your business, the next thing is location. Now, ordinarily, you need to situate your business in a very high traffic area. But we are starting on a very small budget. So what do we need? Start from home. Start from home. All you got to do is to search or to make research if there are some permits or regulations, local regulations, that will ensure you do your business seamlessly. That is it. Location is your home, where you stay. That is the first location because there is no money for this business now or in a large quantity. Now, after getting location, which is home, you need machines. It is obvious that these machines are very expensive. No laundry machine that is very cheap. But this is what you do. You look for second hand or refurbished washers and dryers to save you that initial cost. In fact, some cases, you can look for people who lease out these things. You take it on lease. And in fact, the lease is, is it postpaid? That is after you use, yes, you pay. You arrange in giving them whatever is due to them at the end of the month, weekly, as the case may be. Start small. You start small because you can't cover every 
part of laundering. So you have to start by offering basic wash and fold service. Yes, that is the best. Or that is the path you can start with small capital and from home. Yes, once your business grows and your budget increases, now you can expand into ironing, stain removal, or specialty cleaning. Let me give you this pro tip. Consider partnering with local dry cleaners to handle specialized garment care that you cannot offer at home. Now, you've done this. You've gotten your location. You've gotten an alternative way of getting all those expensive machines. You've gotten it using the second-hand method or thereabout. Then the next thing is, how do you market? How do you make people understand that you are in for this business? The first thing is network with friends, families, neighbors. Yes, they are your biggest champion at the beginning. In fact, you can start with free, offering free for some days, 32 days free, or discount price. That is what you start with. The pro tip here is build an online presence with simple social media page. Yes, get a simple social media page and showcase what you have or what you can do. Ask for positive review. Another way to market is flyers. Now, you don't go to print flyers. Go on Canva. Design simple flyers that you distribute among neighborhoods. Local business with food traffic. Yes, apartments, buildings, college farms, dorms. Partner with the business to offer discount to their residents or to their students that when you are going to the school areas. These are the things you will do to market your business. Negotiate package deals with local businesses. These are how you market your business on a low term. Yes, because we don't have the money or you don't have the capital to start. So everything will be on the low key. So more especially the marketing, the word of mouth, then the flyers. You can create the flyers yourself on Canva and distribute it, as the case may be. There is this important platform. You have to find yourself as a beginner. That is TaskRabbit. Yes or local errand services, to connect with customers. And that, or those, those task rabbit, those places you connect with customers who need laundry help, but don't have the time to do it themselves. So you go there, sign up, become member. But let me tell you, the secrets to success of this business are your customers. Yes, excellent customer service is the key. Build trust and loyalty. Be very, very reliable, responsive, delivering high quality work. Yes, reliability, timing. Make sure you keep to your words to your clients. That is all you have. Now, what happens after then? You must grow. In that case, you have to reinvest your profits, get additional equipment marketing efforts or even a small storefront in the future remember the key is to start small manage your finances wisely and let your happy customers be your best advertisement once you do this you will definitely start that laundry business on a very low capital and grow remember i said the demand is high. The day-to-day -day activities of individuals has made it imperative that they must get someone who will take care of their clothing, ironing, and other things. Please, if you are enjoying this video, subscribe. Be part of my channel. Let this channel grow for others. So, starting laundry business does not require fortune. With the little planning, as I've said, resourcefulness and dedication, you can turn your laundry into your own success story. Please leave a comment below with your questions or laundry business ideas. And don't forget, like, subscribe for more entrepreneurship tips until we meet in the next video. I have a video for you, please. A video for you. It will be at the end of this video. 
It is why business, the biggest secret why business fail. Make sure you watch that video and know if it is ripe for you to start the business or not. Ensure you watch that video to ensure, to make, to check or to validate if this business is due for you. Thank you for watching.